introduction. Okay, so yesterday I took apart or took the back off of my Hello, it's me. Woo! Okay. Uh, yesterday I took the back off of my Ibanez um, electric guitar and I thought, why don't we experiment with this Les Paul? Um, you see here, it's a special two and it's quite dusty. Uh, haven't I've been focusing on my acoustics? Um, so actually, if you see here, this part here, the if I had taken off the strings, I could unscrew these three screws, and then I could um, take a screwdriver and adjust the neck. It's called straightening the neck. I've never done it, but now I know it can be done. If they're looking down to see if it's straight, um, but I don't know how to do that yet, and I maybe sometime before I do. So here's the back of our Epiphone Les Paul. We've got our tools. You have seen that we have tools. That was the whole point of that. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do take out the screwdriver. So this part here uh, attaches the body to the neck almost definitely. I don't know why they need a plate other than it can etch the name Epiphone here. And so this is the area you can see by the screws um, which we will be removing to look at the inside and what is inside of it and so because as we can see the screwdriver doesn't have a head see it goes up and down down is left up is right left loosens the screw right tightens the screw and so it's obviously not plugged into anything this really is a godsend this toolkit so here's the head that we're using and we put it here and I, I think it's got like a magnetic lock. Now we unscrew this. There we go. One. Okay, we've got our three screws out. Almost got it. Yeah, I'm gonna take a very thin So this is the head that we are using now. And we're just going to be using it to and it's out. Okay, so this is quite interesting. This is more like the YouTube videos that I saw. Now can we get this centered? Let's put this aside. Okay, so as you can see, there are two um, circular cylinders and from my vantage, they quite clearly have been soldered on and like the Epiphone, they uh, are, have wires which come out of a hole that goes into the guitar. So, um, I'll show you with the Epiphone. So you've got these pickups. These are pickups. And the wire goes through the guitar and then has to be soldered to 
to a battery. I don't know what it is. It has to be soldered to these cylinders. Um, and it looks a lot more complex than the Epiphone, which is probably why it's uh, qualitatively instead of uh, comparatively a better guitar. So that's good to know, actually. A uh, better guitar or just more advanced guitar. So, okay, we'll put that back on. Luckily, that one was not glued on. That was good fortune for me. And we put that head in. Take this head out. Push that up so it goes turning right now. I'm really working with excellent guitars and excellent tools. And I'm, I'm it's very fortunate to be in this position. And actually, the Les Paul Special 2, it is written on the internet, is the beginner's model of the Les Paul. So a beginner's Les Paul, I don't know. I'd, I could be wrong, because when we looked inside the Ibanez, we saw it had coils, and this had a more intricate system not necessarily better but just more intricate um, so there we go we'll put the guitar back on the wall put that back in there that back in there and there there we go.